Part of the reason that I'm here today is that almost 24 years ago I had a skiing accident. It's my first day of Christmas vacation. I was a ski racer in college. Went home, my brother and I went to our home mountain, met up with a couple of buddies, took a couple of runs before we were gonna train, and in the middle of a turn, my ski popped off. And I broke two vertebrae. Damaged the spinal cord. So my life changed potentially really significantly in that moment. For me, it was just it was an opportunity to spread our message to, to some of the kids here in Moscow, which has been wonderful. I think there are two messages, really. I mean, one is the idea of it's not what happens to you, it's what you do with what happens to you, that sense of resilience. But the other part of it is take a risk. Figure out who you are. When I competed as a ski racer, and when I competed as a wheelchair racer, most of, I, I didn't do a meaningful international competition that lasted longer than two minutes. So I raced for two minutes. But when I was climbing the mountain, it took me nine hours a day to get to camp. So it takes a lot of training to go from two minutes to nine hours. The challenges or the trauma or the difficulties are a lot in perception as well. That sometimes, sometimes we can perceive something as, you know, a, a disease, somebody has cancer, somebody has this, somebody has that. You know, like, oh wow, that's, I mean, that's life changing. But sometimes the little things are, are equally life changing. And, and, and sometimes those are the ones that are harder to get over because they stick with you every single day and you never can really sort of put them to bed. Uh, so, you know, so I think that, that that's the way the kids can, can relate to me is that, that yeah, my, mine might be a little bit more obvious and might be a little bit more traumatic, but, but it's also, that's, that's the hope and that's certainly what I'm trying to achieve is this idea of universality that w we all face our challenges and how do we, how, how do we do that? And how can we learn from somebody else? Because you know, if somebody has something big happen to them, you always say, well, what, you know, what happened? There's a voyeur part of it. But then the follow-up is, well, what did you do? And the idea of what did you do is where we can learn from somebody. I have an organization called One Revolution. And one of the things I'm trying to do that, our mission is we want to change the way that the world sees people with disabilities by highlighting our universal struggle. We all have struggles, right? And the thing is, if we all have a struggle, we can relate to each other. We can hopefully look beyond that struggle to see the individual. I, I don't want to you know, stand up and raise a flag and say, hey, you have, to, you have to recognize me for who I am. I think that it's sort of a, a, a backwards type of strategy in some ways, in that hopefully we can, we, we can recognize everybody. I want people to change the way that they see people in general. And, and as a result of doing that, if, you can, if we can see our struggle, we can see beyond the struggle, or if we can acknowledge the struggle, we can see beyond the struggle to see the individual, hopefully. You know, what pushes me is, I, I, you know, I don't know. It's that John Wayne thing, you know? I mean, it's like, you know, courage is being scared to death and doing it anyway. And, and, and I think that that ultimately is, is a big part for me, is this idea of, yeah, fear motivates me. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a, a victim or, be captive by my fear. With a lot of my friends at school, I became a superhero. For them, they were like, you can do anything. Like, this is the most amazing, like, you can do stuff. I could never do what you've done, which is kind of cool. Like, if you're going to be that one guy, you want to be separated for something that's good, don't you? But this was also, the superhero was the most difficult name tag that I've ever worn. Now that sounds strange, and part of it is that sometimes we create these images for ourselves. Create almost like a mask, right? So the name tag program is about the labels that we put on ourselves and others, and it's so easy oftentimes to say, I can't do this because I'm X. I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm too tall, I'm too short, I'm, you know, whatever it is. We, we have a variety of reasons, but then somebody else who has seemingly the, the exact same issue or has, has less to work with goes and does it. I think, wow, okay. So, so the idea of name tags is how can we overcome those limitations that, that sometimes are even subconscious. If I'd never had my accident, I never would have been the best in the world at anything. I was the best mono skier in the world. That's an amazing gift, isn't it? To be the best in the world at something, but I wouldn't have been the best in the world if I hadn't had my accident. Our community, in a lot of ways, is who we are. 
as people and the school is certainly the kids community right now. There's the responsibility with the kids too for how, how, how do you want life to work in your community. So the call to action for me is can you do that? Can you do that as an individual and, and see the other person as an individual? Can you help them find, you know, be able to take a risk, be able to be comfortable enough to take a risk? in this community and I think that's the that to me is the call to action how how are the kids going to create a, a way that they can find the best in themselves sometimes you think well if my only goal is to get to the top of the mountain then I might not one I might not make it there but two I might get totally disheartened along the way so for me I thought one of the things that I have to do is I have to celebrate those minor victories so so like uh, one of the goals that I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to turn my life into a story. So I'm trying to write my book, which has been way more challenging than climbing the mountain. So with a friend of mine, we created what we call, it's a writing group, but it's also, it's a support slash accountability group. So we've told each other that we want to do this and we've supported each other in our efforts but we've also written into our bylaws that we have to celebrate the minor victories along the way. Author would be so, a great name tag. That, that's, that's the next one that I'd love to have. I'm writing my memoir right now, and so, so it's, it's a process. I've done a rough draft. I'm you know, back through probably five or six uh, chapters that are, that are pretty good, that'll you know, need, need some editing as we go along. But at the same time, uh, the intention is to try to write a really honest book that hopefully hopefully you can put yourself into and 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 see yourself in some of my struggles